whenever someone asks me about how my academics are going ever since things with virtual i immediately think of that tiktok sound that was trending a few months ago of that guy screaming and talking about how tired he was of being in school we're children we're kids we should be living our fucking lives instead of practicing at a cheat death because you know what everybody fucking dies while I am not a kid or am I in high school, I can still relate to that video and so can so many other college students. I was on Twitter one day and this college student had tweeted that they kind of feel like that one episode of Spongebob where Squidward finally got to move away from Spongebob and Patrick and live the life that he always wanted to live, but he ended up in this depressing cycle where he did the same thing every single day. Another great day. Oh look, everybody's on their bike today. It just gets better and better all together. I sorta don't feel like playing my clarinet today. While well, that episode of Spongebob is really funny, what's not funny is how many college students can actually relate to it, including myself. This year has been rough for everyone, but the mental health of college students in particular is on a rapid decline. As a first generation African American college student, college in general in the beginning was a learning curve for me, but around my sophomore year is when I finally started to get the hang of things, but then COVID made its way and changed everything. Personally, this school year has been the worst school year of my entire life. Finding the motivation to do anything after listening to Zoom lectures for five hours and then doing homework for five more hours after that is pretty impossible. I can tell that professors are trying to find new ways to revamp their course instruction to fit our Zoom University lifestyle, but that just ends up in them assigning more work than they usually would if we were in person. I had to make a lot of tough decisions this school year, and one of them being quitting my job and deciding to leave my internship because I could not handle all of the work that was being thrown at me at once. My anxiety rapidly increased and felt like a boulder was just sitting on my shoulders and spikes were in my veins and I just had no way of removing them. And if I'm gonna be honest and share my story, this school year is when I had the, one of the most intense breakdowns I've ever had where I cried for a week straight and did nothing else else but cry. I called in for work and took the entire week off. I put away my book bag and my laptop because I could not even stand to look at it anymore. And of course when the week was over I had to deal with the financial consequences of not going to work for a week and dealing with all the missing assignments I had that just piled up on my plate. And while I was trying to play catch up and work more hours and finish all the assignments that I missed, I also found myself in a squiver like daily cycle where I would do the same thing over and over again. While this has been my personal experience, I asked a couple of my friends if they will talk about their experience this semester and how they're dealing with this since COVID happened. My name is Jaden, Joel, Jalen, Katie, and the semester has been isolating. This semester has been exhausting, scary, frustrating. This semester has been really trying. Um, a lot of things have kind of just been put on halt and it's been on halt for the past year or three semesters. Um, and I just don't get to have that same experience that I had before. I used to be able to like do more in my free time and see other people and I guess I work in events so I have way less stress relating to like going out and doing things. Um, and I feel like I've kind of been cut off from a lot of my usual habits and people that I get to see. It's scary trying to keep everyone safe, like in your vicinity. Um, I spend a lot of time at my girlfriend's house with her roommates, 
and you know we're all friends and you know it's just scary constantly uh, coming in contact you don't want to hurt people that you love uh, along with just going home um, I have a great relationship with all my grandparents and not being able to see them for the past year and a half it is now um, has been pretty rough and every time you go over there it's kind of like you constantly have an anxiety um, and then coming back to school there's just even more and more anxiety so not being in person and not seeing other people um, and making those connections that I normally would um, normally I'm really bubbly and out there and extroverted but this has kind of really put me towards my introverted self I've Again, I had to drop two classes. Um, I was failing them because I just can't really keep up. Like everything is kind of all still um, happening at once. And not only is it like COVID within academics, but then it's COVID within your personal life and stuff like that. So of course that affects um, academics as well. My academics have definitely slipped this semester. Um, it's definitely hard staying motivated um, this semester, even though this is the lowest amount of credits that I've taken at all in my entire academic collegiate career. So, um, but definitely staying motivated, wanting to do the work. Um, there seems as if there's no light at the end of the tunnel, so it's kind of hard to continue to want better for myself and try to progress. Badly. Um, I used to have a little bit of issues with depression and COVID kind of multiplied that by 50 and some days it's like I don't even want to get up and do anything because what's the point I'm just doing it online not such a good way um it has really made me take a look at life and just want a break so I am only taking one class because of the mental impact that COVID has had on me with academics, I feel like even being online, we're kind of getting more work than we would um, in person. And that's stressful because the work that we were getting in person was already a lot, but now it's even more. And it's like, we have a week to do it. And no, I don't, because I also work full time and I'm also a full time, um, you know, like mentor to my brother and doing all these other life things. So it's kind of like academics. Sad to say, fall short, and they have fell short this semester. I just haven't been there mentally. Understanding that it's more than just online classes that's affecting us. You know, it's it's really hard to be there for a class 100% of the time when there's not a specific time dedicated to it really be adaptable um, and understanding to what students are going through because again like I understand as professors you have a job to do which is to educate and you know I appreciate you all for that but in the same breath we've been going through this pandemic for again three semesters so it's kind of like we're burnt out we really haven't had a break when we did have a break in the summer it was spent inside all summer um, when we came back here, we can't do anything, go on campus, really even go to class because, again, it's still locked down. So just understand that your students have personal lives and a break every so often isn't that bad. I had a professor um, this year who, um, for a week, about every couple weeks, um, they gave us, you know, no work for that week. We didn't have a quiz, we didn't have homework, but we just had to um, relapse and do more work in the um, you know, remainder weeks, and I found that very helpful. And if every professor did that, or if it was implemented on a university um, level, I think that would definitely help us out a lot. Stop being so mentally demanding on students and try to understand more that we're tired of being on computers. 